Hey Geminis, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Geminis, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Geminis? What do they need to hear and know for this week? Ooh, the cards. Okay, I want to go everywhere. Okay, you, <laughs> your energy, King of Swords coming out strong, Gemini. What's going on with Gemini's? Okay, we have the Strength card. Leo's energy is here for Gemini's. What's going on with Gemini's? What do they need to hear and know? Two of Swords. Okay, there's a bit of confusion here. Yeah, with the Moon card, you may not know something. You may feel in the dark about something, Gemini's. Always keep an open mind, as I always say. Keep an open mind as the cards come out. This could be you or your person whose energy I'm picking up on. The stories could be flipped or reversed. So put the characters where they go for your personal situation. Okay? But I feel like someone could be trying to communicate something here. But it's like you're trying to be brave. You're trying to communicate something. But at the same time, you feel confused about what you want to communicate. You may feel like tongue-tied or flustered on what you should decide or what decision you should make maybe you feel like you don't have all the answers because there's a lot of darkness here okay with the moon card yeah with the seven of swords okay it's like i don't know enough communication is not there mm, just looking at the back of the deck here there could be a lot of mental conflict surrounding a love situation, you guys. We have the Five of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. With the Ten of Wands. Something you've been doing for a long time. It's just a burden. It's wearing you out. It's stressing you out. Four of Cups. Some of you feeling lonely or you're feeling rejected. Okay? You or your person. You could be dealing with an emperor-like energy. With uh, Aries energy here, Emperor with the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you waiting on employment, waiting for a big offer to come in with your employment. Something has been a burden. Okay? And maybe you feel like you don't have all the answers when it comes to employment. Something weird is happening around employment, you guys. I'm getting that strongly. For others of you, something weird happen happening around a relationship. Okay? Let's get into it. What is this King of Swords energy? Oh, okay. We have the Devil Reverse. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Someone turning down a Capricorn. Oh, someone could be angry. Hiding anger. What is this King of Swords energy? Something flipped over. Yeah, we had two. Yeah, Five of Wands with the Hanging Man. That's what I'm saying. Someone could be dealing with anger or conflict in their own mind. Feeling like you can't express how you really feel. Feeling like you can't express your emotions. What is this devil reverse? Show me that devil reverse. What is that energy? Someone feeling like they're losing control. What is this devil reversed? Show me this devil reverse. Thank you. Six of wands with the world card. Yeah, you may be feeling like you may be angry because you feel like you're losing your momentum, losing status. Oh, maybe you wanted someone's attention like you wanted to show the world to somebody and it's just been conflict. Hmm. Now we have Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with an, an another air sign or a, an earth sign. Okay? There's a choice here. Two of Wands. You may feel like someone has their guard up when it comes to commitment. Like someone not wanting to commit to you. There's a struggle with communication because we have the King and Queen of Swords here. Okay? 
you could have been in a commitment with this person or there was the, the potential for one, okay? To take a leap of faith with somebody. What is this strength card? The death card. We have Scorpio here. Also Leo, if I haven't already said that. What do we have? Wheel of Fortune is in reverse and we have Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel like Gemini, you're struggling to move on from something or someone, okay? This is a big struggle for you. You're struggling with something being over, this ending, okay? You're trying to be brave. You're trying to be strong about it, about this ending. Could be an ending with a Scorpio for some of you. But the will of fortune is in reverse. It's like you saw your future with someone, but something happened. Six of cups, you could be still a bit nostalgic, thinking about the past. And it's been hard. You could definitely be upset because this was a tower moment for you. We have the tower. We have Scorpio Cancer energy with the chariot. Leo is still here with the, the sun card and the knight of, knight of wands. It's almost like, where is my happy ending? Two of swords. Why is that energy here? Yeah, okay. Knight of wands is back out with the two of cups. This is the confusion here. Yeah, Taurus is here with the hard font it's like this confusion of what are we or what what are we going to do or what how do i move on from this you're struggling gemini i don't know why i'm feeling like this is your energy because you came out first as that king of swords energy you could be very confused right now with your feelings towards someone. Nine of Wands, Two of Cups, the hard font. Because you thought that this was moving toward, you know, your forever. And something something is not happening. Because we have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Someone is not taking the offer. And that's why it's a burden on you. With this masculine energy. Yes, you guys. See, seven of wands, I feel like someone is guarded here. Someone is guarded. Someone uh, not taking your calls or not wanting this. Ten of swords, there's been a lot of hurt, betrayal. I feel like you are stuck in this place. <laughs> Geminis, you may be a bit tortured with the thoughts of somebody. Nine of swords, four of swords. You could be a masculine Gemini. Because we have this emperor, we have this um, king of swords. It's a lot of masculine energy coming through. So you could be a masculine Gemini. If you're a female Gemini, you could be in your masculine energy. But if you're a, a feminine Gemini, the reading may not resonate with you. Because I'm seeing it from the side of, it's like through masculine eyes. What I'm feeling overall is like you lost an opportunity with someone that you thought that you could have forever with and it's over and you're struggling with the fact that this is over. It's almost like you're confused, you're angry that something is over. How's this person feeling toward Gemini? Three of Wands reversed. Seven of Pentacles. This person could have waited in the past. They waited, but their ships never came in. Three of Wands reversed. Meaning when it's upright, your ships are coming in. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You, you may be gladly waiting. But this is what happened in the past. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody was waiting for you. Could be an Empress. Yes, Taurus Libra energy. There could have been a, a woman waiting on you. Somebody waited for you. Yeah, and they thought that they were going to get the Ace of Pentacles. 
How's this person feeling toward Gemini? Yeah, the Empress is here. How's this person feeling toward Gemini? Eight of Cups, but someone walked away. They had to walk away. Ooh. That Emperor just keeps sitting there. Ace of Cups. Maybe they walked away because they feel like you found new love. Someone got angry with you. How's Gemini feeling toward this person? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Oh, oh, geez. Magician, Gemini's energy. We have King of Cups reverse with the Tower reverse that flew out. Some of you dealing with a fellow Gemini could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Yeah, you guys, something happened here. Something blew up. The tower fell. Emotions not expressed. You know what? It feels like the energy of you're trying to keep it together, but you're about to explode. Geminis, you could be dealing with bad anger issues. Or toxic emotions that you keep trying to keep under control. You keep trying to keep your emotions under wraps. And it feels like you're going to break if you don't communicate with someone. Queen of Cups. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You need to tell somebody how you're feeling. Ten of Cups with the Queen of Cups. But see, the King of Cups is in reverse. You could be upset or angry that someone is not feeling the same way as you. You could also feel like you got played by somebody. Yeah, hermit in reverse. You could feel like this person is hiding. You want this person to talk to you. You want to heal it with somebody. The star card, Aquarius energy. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Potential outcome for this week. Potential outcome for this week between these two. Potential outcome. We have the nine of cups, four of swords, and the ten of wands. Nope. Blocking. It's not happening this week. Someone refuses to communicate to heal this. Nine of Cups, their desire is to keep this on ice. Ten of Wands, and it's still a burden. Blockages, burden. It's like, no, no communication. Guards are up, blockage. Yeah, Nine of Wands, both of you feeling guarded and blocked. This person is not talking to you. You don't want to talk to them. It's like you're, y'all are both angry with each other. It's like you're doing fine and you may have sweet memories of this person and they have sweet memories of you. But it's like when y'all think of each other a little too much, then y'all start getting angry. Y'all both start, start getting angry all over again. Like, one step forward, 10 steps backward. That's what I'm feeling. That's what this connection feels like. Give me some insight. Oh, something already shot out. Yeah, break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. I'm telling you, y'all are both giving each other the silent treatment, both giving each other the cold shoulder. There's a breakup here. There's been a separation. And the both of you could be feeling abandoned in this connection. Ooh, too many cards. What's going on? Insight. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Insight. Okay, we're not going to play. We're not going to play with all these cards coming out like this. Give me some insight for this connection. Thank you. Lots of passion between the two of you, but there needs to be healing. And I see this week it's not happening. There needs to be healing. Someone is the chaser. 
Chaser and codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment. Now that's the second card that says something about abandonment. Abandonment is here. Abandonment is here. That's why I said I feel like both of you feel abandoned in this connection. You may be blaming this person. They may be blaming you. Well, you left me. No, well, you left me. Mm. Some of you need to meet someone new. Get back out there. Meet someone new. Don't give up on, on love, okay? If this person could say anything to Gemini's, what would they say? If this person could say anything to Gemini's, what would they say at this time? This could be your energy as well. Take it as it resonates. What's going on with this energy? Prison, jail time, case, criminal charges. And keep in mind, guys, if someone is not dealing with this, they could be um, like actually dealing with this. Someone could be dealing with this in their mind. Mental prison, feeling like they're trapped or stuck, feeling like they can't communicate. Show me this energy here. Child support. Some of you could have a child or children with this person. Some of you could be suing someone for child support. Filing for child support. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Some of you are angry that this person didn't step up as a father figure or a mother figure. Look at that. I hid you from my family and friends. I was afraid of what they would think of you. For some of you, you were this person's secret. Mm, what else? I feel the same way about you. Someone is saying that. Some of you, that feels a bit, a bit shady. Not like, oh, I, yeah, you're in love with me. I'm in love with you. No, 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 no. Someone could be saying, yeah, you, you feel like, you know, you hid me while well, I was hiding you too. <laughs> you know, or you want to break up with me? I want to break up with you too. You think I'm a snake? I think you're a snake too. And it, it's, it feels like that energy as well. Take it as it resonates. Someone is saying, I am choosing to leave it all behind for you, my love. You could have chosen to do this for this person, or you could be wanting to do this. I cheated on you. I just felt the need to pull one more card. I cheated on you. Someone is not faithful in this connection. Someone left this connection for another person. And maybe they chose to leave you behind for someone that they loved or that they felt they loved, okay? Or this could be getting ready to happen, you guys. Let's go to the Kipper deck. Show me what's going on in this connection with Gemini and this person. We have despair. Yeah, some, someone is <clears throat> sitting in a lot of grief, heartache, despair. I think I mentioned that at the beginning. Someone really feeling down and out, holding hurt, pain, anger. What else? Lovers, Gemini's energy. Because there's a lot of love here or the potential for it. Or there was a lot of love, but this, it's like this situation has created a lot of despair. Even though there was love here or the potential for love, it's like, it's a lot of despair surrounding this situation. Someone could be longing for the other person as well. What's going on between these two? That was a lot. False person. Yeah. Someone is wearing a mask. Someone is being, is not being honest with their feelings or their emotions. Remember I said that with the King of Cups reverse? Someone is not being honest and you, you're tired of this person not being honest about how they feel toward you. What else? Privileged lady, yeah. Someone could be with a privileged lady, wanting to be a privileged lady. Someone could be acting like they're all that. 
Like they're too good for you. Yeah. You may see that like this person's expectations are high. Expectation and privileged lady. Let's get one more. One more, please. Let's get one more. Imprisonment. Now, we already saw that. Prison, jail time, case, criminal charges. Someone could definitely be facing prison or jail. Okay? Or like I said, someone trapped in something. I'm feeling like, Gemini, you may feel chained to someone. Or someone may feel chained to you. Okay? And it's almost like, I can't help who I love. Even if I cheated or they cheated. Someone here cheated. And it's like, but I can't help who I love. I'm getting that energy as well. I can't get over this ending. Coffin is here. I'm feeling it. That's the disparity. It's like someone can't get over this love in this connection. They can't get over it. But someone is hiding somebody, someone from their family. They're afraid of what they think of you. You're afraid of what your family may think of, of them. Somebody is hiding this connection. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's the advice? Advice for Geminis in this connection. Ask for help from others, you guys. Yeah, if some of you are struggling emotionally, struggling with anger, hiding things, you guys, somebody needs to ask for help. Could be for this person as well, the cross watcher, dating a Gemini. Time to open up and get some help. Woo! It's a lot of cards. Too many. Something fell out on the floor. Okay. The answer is yes for someone. What else for Gemini's advice? Okay. Something flipped. Trust. And not the right time. There's a need to compromise, you guys. Compromise. Oh, they got really bright there. <laughs> compromise is at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah. I feel like, guys, yes, you need to trust that spirit has your back in this situation. If somebody is, I, I think I said this on Cancer's reading. Yes, if God is putting a stop to a connection and you're like, oh, this person won't talk to me. Oh, this person, you know, they're giving me the runaround or they're not responding to me or whatever. Trust that something is not the right time. You don't want to force a connection. Okay. Don't force anything. Something is just not the right time. Maybe it's not the right time to reconcile with this person. It may not be the right time to compromise with this person. And some of you need to talk to someone about this. Okay. Talk to family, friends, someone uh, you trust. Okay. About the situation. But something is just not the right time. And you need to trust spirit. That spirit knows what's best. I always say God knows how to look out for us, okay? Even though we fight against spirit a lot of the times and we want stuff when we want it. But if this person cheated, okay, and they're entertaining a, another person or another lover, this is what you may feel intuitively and this may be bothering you. You may have met this person at the wrong time or you may be trying to reconcile with this person at the wrong time. Something is out of alignment here okay and so it may not be time to like i said to compromise look right behind compromise it says no look at that you guys i just saw that right behind compromise said it said no for some of you there will not be a compromise okay and like i said some of you needing to date and get back out there don't give up on finding your soulmate because some of you have closure issues. Yes, with boat. It says closure issues here because you're still heartbroken 
over this situation or this person and you're needing time to heal. But something is not enough. Something is not enough for you, okay? It says frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, jealousy. Something is not enough for you, okay? Whether this person, they're not giving enough, like I said, somebody not returning your calls, someone avoiding you, all of that. It's not enough. Cut this person off. It's not enough. All of this seduction and attraction, yeah. Ooh, you fine as fuck. How long can somebody be fine as fuck? How long? Before you decide to make a healthy choice for yourself. Enough is enough. This person is not giving you what you need. What you need is real love. Come out of fantasy mode and find someone who can love you for who you are and the type of love that you give. This is a very specific me message. I don't want to get too preachy about it. But honey, somebody need to know this. Okay, that if somebody is hiding you and cheating on you and all, it's bullshit. It's a fantasy. Come out of fantasy and get into reality. And that's for the cross watcher as well. I'm not just talking to Gemini. I'm talking to you cross watcher dating a Gemini, interested in, in a Gemini. If this Gemini is doing all of that to you, if you saying, oh, I was with a toxic Gemini, then you need to break free, honey. Break free. Ain't no sense in putting up with this bullshit. Somebody in imprisonment, feeling enslaved to somebody, to this love situation. Break apart. Do not put up with this false person feeding you lies and bullshit, hiding you from their family. You don't need that. You deserve people who love you authentically. That's what you deserve in life. Alrighty, you guys, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. You guys, I will see you in your next reading. Take care. Bye.